Good morning and welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm. It is 7.46. I have set up the harvester over on field 18. It is ready to harvest is all of our oats. So is field 15. Okay. So we need to get this field harvested and stored away as much as we can because if we're going to be doing the horses then we are going to be needing some oats so so let's get in the John Deere and let's get this job started it is still pretty early so let's start the engine let's get the header lowered down we do have the truck and trailer there ready. It is going to take some time to do this field. I should say it is going to take pretty much all morning to get this field harvested and probably some of the afternoon. It's going to be a very, very tall task. So let's get this field started. I want to get this done as quick. Really as quick as I can and I do want the straw swath we are running pretty low on straw as well so it would be nice to get that all topped up all nice and uh, put away this field is going to take an absolute decade to finish but we are going to get a lot of oats um, I do have a plan of a sil little silo being built where the horses are going to be stored in, the, in the, the new area that is being built over in uh, paddock 19 it's just reverse. Um, so what I'm going to do is, when I've been given the all clear by the workers, they are currently over there now still doing a couple of things. As soon as I've got the all clear, what we can do is we can then transfer some of the oats over there so that we know we do have oats on hand. Just don't want to be... <coughs> sorry. Just don't want to run out of oats. Um, trying to think what else we need we need um, what else do horses need I'm trying to think um, they need oats they need hay straw and water okay so we are gonna have to do some hay so the grass on uh, field 19 the meadow uh, we will have to get that grass cut, get it tedded. <coughs> I think that will definitely help. Uh, again today, Joe is spending time with his family. You know, his wife's uh, and well, and his sorry, uh, their child is due any time soon. So. Uh, if you do see a worker around, that is uh, my mother working on the farm. She enjoys it, so it's all good. This is going to be a lot of oats. Because we have this field here, we also have field 15 over there full of oats. So uh, we're not going to run out of oats anytime soon. It's just um, the prices of horses. It is going to be a bit expensive. Some people might want a fair amount of money for for their horses and their breeds. So that's something that we are going to have to look into. Also, we can look into rehoming some of um, looking. Sorry, I've got to start that again. <laughs> Uh, look into uh, places that do rehome horses and 
everything like that we could do that possibly and then get them all trained up and take them out for rides and then uh, sell them on for profit after they've been uh, trained so oh wow what's that oh, beautiful in the distance Still cleaning here. I did. I did clean this out. It's looking all nice and clean inside. 8:55, 8:56 already, and we've not even done one pass round yet. Time is flying by very, very quickly. Hopefully the workers on the, the uh, horse area <coughs> that we have ha are having built, hopefully they do have it built and finished today. My fingers are crossed, you know, but if, if it's not, it doesn't matter. We've got this field to do, uh, we've got field 15 to do over there. We also have the wool which we do need to sell we do have a lot of pallets of wool we've got to get that sold and also what else was there we do have field 3 and field 17 uh, the growth on them is going really well which is nice to see I don't think we're going to make it all the way around okay, so let's Let's try and keep the straw swath in a straight line. Let's, let's just lift the head up. Swing around a bit, don't go too far. I do not want to destroy the crops. Okay, so let's just get this edge. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it all the way round. I think we are going to have to stop and bring the truck over. Our air balloons are out already. They was out at 6 o'clock this morning. Definitely helps us having the income from them. Uh, I still haven't heard anything about the manure business. Uh, so I will have to uh, contact him. Uh, he did give me his contact details. I know exactly where he is. So Hopefully we'll hear something from uh, that soon. We did put a lot of money into it so we could start his business. Um, because it was a, a good uh, revenue for us. And it still could be. Ooh. Okay, so let's turn the engine off. Let's pull the pipe out. Can just go. Oh, I need to. Got a bit of an angle here. There we go. So let's run across. Oh, this is a really, really big field. A lot like children of the corn running through the field, or a prairie dog. Point, point. So let's. I really wish I could get up there. I am going to have to have a word. I might see if I can go on one of these tours and uh, have a look round when Joe's working. Get my mother on another field. I can go up there and just admire. It's got to be really nice doing a lot of tours now. <coughs> we have had words and we are getting nearly £800 an hour just from the hot air balloon business. His business is absolutely booming. That hot air balloon is out nearly all the time. Let's just walk out of the way of that. So let's get in here, get it started up. Open the cover. Let's make our way to the harvester, get that emptied. <coughs> wow, look at that big bit. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Yeah, and that's going to be fun. Um, we're going to get a... F I don't think we're going to get a lot of straw off, swap off of this. Which is fantastic. Cause we need the straw. We're running low. We need it for the horses. We need it for the cows. Bedding. We need it for the total mix ration. We need a lot of straw. Oh, I must have been right on the edge. That is going to bug me. So let's pull this underneath the auger pipe and get the harvester emptied. There we go, that should be it. Let's cut the engine off. Beautiful. That's really nice, I like that. Money straight into the trailer. So the harvester has now emptied. Did take a while. Let's get that sorted. Let's turn the engine back on. Let's get the header back down and working. There we go. Straw stuff still should be on. Yes it is. Okay, so it is taking a fair bit of time to do this field. We do have other jobs that need to be done. We need to try and sell the wool. What is the price of wool at the minute? Let's have a quick look. Wool. 2170. Uh, could be better. I have his, I have seen it higher. So I am waiting for like a really, really good price. But prices of things are going down, like I say, due to the recession that is hitting this area. It isn't voting well for local companies, that is for sure. Don't want to hit the header on this uh, pole here. Last thing I need is to have a, a broken header for this harvester. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's get this sorted. I've missed. A bit. No, I'm not, I'm not having that. I'm not missing a bit again. That is going to bug me. I've got to get it. And I'm going to get that other piece that's around uh, the back of me as well. That I did leave around that corner over there. That will really bug me. God love this John Day Harvester. So it is a bit of a pain, you know, that it doesn't fold like the rest. You know, you have to have a header trailer for it. But, it does the job. I'm not spending extra money on, you know, one that actually folds itself for an extra few thousand when I can just put it on the header trailer and uh, call it good. Yeah, there is field 15. Another big field. Not as big as this one though. Okay, so when we've got up to here, what I think I'm gonna do is uh, I'll get back to you when we have got around halfway or just over halfway you see me harvest this field once you don't want to keep seeing me do the same thing well you know it is farming that is part and parcel of uh, this game Right edge here. I don't want to damage the header either on the the hedge there. Okay, so we'll lift the header up. Reverse a little bit. 
There we go. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll get back to you when... Uh, actually, I'll get back to you when we are about... When we've got the trailer full, that's it, that's what we'll do. I'll get back to you when we've got a trailer full of oats. I'll see you in a minute. Well, we have just got a full trailer of 59,000 oats. And the harvester is nearly almost full again. I had to leave it. Uh, so we are going to go drop this off in the silo that we have over here. It's going to be a nice amount of oats. want to make sure that we do keep enough for a load of horses, we know that horses really do go through the oats. Ooh, that could have been dangerous. I was going far too fast around there. Okay, well, let's just pull the trailer up and let's drop the oats in. There we go, dropping the oats in now. Let's have a look at our oats situation. Not a bad price. Could be better. Could be better. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a something in my throat. So let's get the truck back, get harvesting again because it is 1.38. Let's get in uh, Well, the afternoon is starting to creep up on us. It's taking a lot longer than expected. We don't have much of this field done. It is a big field, as you can see. But we are slowly getting there. It's taking time, but we're getting it done, and like we said, you know, we're not in any rush. So let's cut this engine off. We'll get back in the harvester, and we'll get this finished. It's definitely going to take a lot longer than I thought. I keep forgetting how long this field actually takes to harvest. So let's get up into the harvester. Let's start her up. Let's actually empty it first. That would make more sense. <coughs> Whilst we're here, might as well empty it. There we go. Get this ended and then get the rest of this field done. And I'll see you when the rest of this field is actually completely done and all in the silo. I'm really happy that we do have the man and the cramp a trailer and this John Deere harvester has been an absolute godsend. This absolutely beautiful piece of machinery. Let's get inside, get the auger pipe put back in. Let's get back to harvesting. It's going to take some doing. But like I said, we're not in any rush. No rush at all. So, I'll see you when all of this field is completely done and in the silo. I'll see you then. <sighs> 
Welcome back. It is 5.42 late afternoon and this is the last little strip on field 18. It has taken a long time to get this field harvested but it is done. Well it will be done. Then all we have to do is concentrate on the straw swath, but that can be done another day. We do need to also concentrate on field 15 over there. That needs to be done, but I think we'll do that tomorrow morning. It's been a long, long day of harvesting. I'm going to see something over there, so get this done, get all this harvest put into the silo and then we'll check how much we've got. We have made so far two full trailer trips to the silo, that's including the first one, so uh, pardon me, how much do we have in there at the moment? 118,000 litres. Wow. That is a lot of oats. And we also have what is going to be on field 15. And like I said, we will deal with that one tomorrow. It is just going to get too late to harvest that one. Okay, so that is this field done that is brilliant let's have a look and is this field done it's gonna be a lot of straw so let's just bring out the pipe or the pipe Uh, empty this into the trailer and we'll take the trailer dump it this in the silo we can have a lot and that field like I said field 15 we'll have to do tomorrow that is a very very big field we also have let's have a quick look we do have field 17 and 3 which are growing very nicely that is wheat I am still yet to contact the bakery whether they're willing to uh, make a deal or get a contract written up or anything like that I'm not sure well let's just shut that down for now and I'll sort that out in a bit let's get this taken to the silo we are definitely gonna have enough oats for the horses let's just spin around Ooh. I did put the speed down there we go speed is back up I wondered why I was going so slow there we go Too fast, let's just slow down a bit. You know what happened last time? <laughs> I nearly tipped it. That would have been bad. So let's get this dropped off. There we go. How much oat did we get off of that field? 150,790 litres of oats. Off of field 18. Wow, that is a lot of oats. That really is a lot of oats. Oh dear. 
So let's just get this put away. Pull it here. a lot of wool we really do need to sell that we put the price of wool at the minute it's absolutely dismal I have seen a better price for it yeah, we need to get the forklift we need to get this one put at the side how are the sheep doing oh wow I emptied this out this morning they're definitely making a mess. We don't have much silage left. We are going to have to start making some more silage at some point. Okay, so how are the cows getting on? Let's get in to close this. Cleaned these out this morning as well. Look at all this manure. So how are the animals getting on? Cleanliness 18% on the sheep. Their hay, wa hay, grass and water isn't too bad. Uh, total mixed ration isn't too bad either. On the cows. Okay, and the horses are doing, they're doing really well. Okay, so the animals are all looking fine. Just look how much, just jump over the fence. Just look at how much manure we've got. We've got a lot of manure. If we wanted to, we could buy a, a manure spreader. Spread manure on our fields. We do have a lot of manure. Um, let's have a lot of manure. The 5,225 there. But we will have to keep filling it up from here. Um, still yet to contact another dairy. I need to do that. F16, okay. Okay, so jump over here. Just jump over here. Yeah, so to the to do's is field 15 with the oats that needs doing. We need to make some more silage. Uh, we need to make hay. Uh, and then by that time, field 3 and 17 will be done. We need to get that wall put over there with the rest and sell all the wool. How's this field looking? It's all looking really good. I need to contract the bakery as well. Did I leave? Oh, I thought I left, I left that down there. I wonder what it was. Okay, right, well. That is the job done for today. Just need to get the harvester washed and put away. Oh, that air balloon's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, fill 15 there. That's going to take a while to do, that's for sure. Let's run over to the harvester. Oh dear, it's a long old walk. Still, it's not cold, pretty mild day. Oh, another run to the wrong side. I do that a lot. So let's get this. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, get this header put on the header trailer. And, uh,. Back to the farm, get it washed, get it put away. And I think I might call it a day, or I might spend some of the night trying to collect up some of this straw. 
and then uh, tomorrow morning just to finish uh, collecting the rest of the straw. Take it and give it a real good wash. Definitely needs it. Just look at the state of the header. Oh, we need to fill this up with fuel as well. Quickly do that while I'm here. While well, I'm sat here, I might as well. Just turn the engine off. There we go, we are filling up shouldn't take much money to get this full because I constantly keep forgetting to fill this uh, harvester up and I really shouldn't does need a bit of repair work I'm gonna have to get that done a couple of knocks and bangs here and there Okay, so that was £898. Actually, not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, so let's swing around. We are going to need this in the morning. So I am going to leave the harvester out. Oh, wow, just look at the state of that. Get this washed. I ain't done a very good job of putting the header on there, have I? Let's just get this end. It's absolutely filthy. No, that's that. Now let's give the harvester a good clean. Definitely got to get in there and up here. There's that bit. Let's get this piece under the wheel arch. Let's get around here. Clean this front bit out. In there, really nicely get that clean. Do not want to get anything contaminated. Let's just quickly go around this side and get this bit done. There we go, that is that nice and clean. There we go. I think I'll leave that there for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna call it a day. 5.55. I'll go give JD some food. Just gonna just turn my light on it. It's a bit dark around here. So, oh, there we go. There you go, JD. There's your food. Enjoy your food, buddy. Well, you didn't even eat that. One, one, just one swallow, and it went. Wow, that was that was quick. <coughs> oh dear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of that straw done, and then I'll see you in the morning when I'm uh, going to finish the rest. I'll see you then. <laughs> 